everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today I am going to go over this past week and then set up the following week with my budget with me um, so my husband did get paid his 670 I did get paid the 1566 uh, DoorDash we did hit our goal we actually exceeded it but that extra cash we are setting aside for other things and then we did roll over the 257 so let me total these values up here. So that comes out to 26.73. And then these were all correct. Our electric bill was 132. The travel payment came out, I paid 75 towards Capital One, 50 to Kohl's. Ortho, I paid 166 and we did pay school meals for $60 and those come out to 736. So we'll take 2673 minus 736, which leaves us with $1,937. All right, and then all of these were correct for 395. So we'll subtract 395, which is 1542. And then moving up here, we did do a total of $295. So we'll subtract that, which is $1247. And then we will roll over the $1247 for this coming week, which left us as a zero base budget, which is what we want to do. All right, so. We are setting up the week of the 24th through the 31st. Wait a minute, is that right? 30th, sorry, I felt like that was wrong. Okay, the 30th. All right, so um, let's see, my husband will get paid. 670 and then DoorDash I'm not going to budget anything because again we don't know what's going to happen um, this week has been kind of wonky uh, with weather we are in the Midwest and like a lot of people in the US probably the whole country is feeling it right now we have that Arctic freeze coming through we got snow last night we didn't get as much as we were expecting here so that's a good thing but we are looking at blizzard conditions tonight when the wind picks up, so I don't think we'll be doing do much door dashing tonight, but we'll see how the rest of the week and the weekend goes. Um, so I, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, we don't know what's gonna happen with, with door dash. It'll be, it's gonna be an interesting week for sure. So I'm hoping that we'll hit our goal, um, but we'll see. Another thing is, is that, uh, actually, you know what? This isn't gonna be, oh yes, this will be correct. Nope, no it won't, sorry, hold on. Let me figure out how much his is going to be. I just realized. Um, so this week on Friday, our, he worked in a factory and they shut down for a week in December. They do maintenance, they put new lines down, they do some stuff in the building. I don't really know much about it, but this is my husband's first um, year there. So he put in to volunteer for the shutdown to help with things like that so he would get paid during that time but there apparently there was a ton of volunteers and they pulled names from a hat and he wasn't selected so unfortunately he's going to be going unpaid for five days which really sucks for us so things are going to be a little different um, some of the money that we had set aside for debt snowball may have to go towards bills uh, we'll see I'm hoping that January won't be too bad um, but you know we're gonna we're gonna play it by ear at this point but we're gonna try to door dash as much as possible to really supplement things so so anyways that was 536 um, and uh, door dash I'm putting zero and then last week's rollover was 1247 so 536 plus 1247 is 1783 and then thankfully bills aren't too bad this 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 week so uh, let's see life insurance is 
sell is 319 and that is for five lines. We also, uh, four of those lines have new phones on them. The reason why is because the old phones, the technology was breaking down and um, they are technically free and we had to just sign up for a two year thing and they won't let us pay off the phone early because then technically we wouldn't be getting free phones. It's a, it's a deal, so whatever. Um, so they've got the cell phone and then, oh, and then Apple is coming out, or I will be paying that for 180. And so we'll total these up. I don't have to do lunch, like school lunches for the kids um, this week because they are out of school until the beginning of January. So I'm not including that in this. So 1783 minus the 518 in bills is 1265. I expect to be paying 150 in food this week since they are home. So that makes our total for 395. So it's 870. And then we will put 295 towards sinking funds. Technically we won't be putting all of that towards sinking funds. It'll be more like 225 because $70 Actually, 70 plus 80, so $150 of that is going towards our debt snowball. So, so 870 minus 295 is 575, which then we move down here for rollover, which leaves us with that zero base budget that we like. That is that. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you'd like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. It costs you absolutely nothing to do that. And it shows that you um, are supportive of my channel. Also look in my information box down below. Uh, you'll see some information about my Etsy shop. So, all right. Thanks. Bye.